only dude in the house here. On this episode, I'm finally getting a chance to clean Big Blue. I'm actually going to use SOS pads. Yes, I want to get this oxidation. Oxidation. I can't say the word, whatever it is. Try to get that off the truck and make it look a lot nicer. Plus, I got some shine juice from Vice Grip Garage that I want to put on there. So I'm gonna get started. All right, so I'm gonna start out, I've already gotten it kind of wet a little bit, but I'm gonna start out with using these uh, oh, just cheapo SOS pads. And the cool thing is, is the cool thing is, is you don't have to add any soap because it's got soap on it. So I'm just gonna take that, I'm just gonna, Rub that on there. Just rub that on there. I'm just gonna take that oxidation, oxidation. It's gonna take that white stuff off. Don't know how you say it. I'm not very, I'm kind of illiterate. So, so that's what I wanna work on is just going through and rubbing this off. Maybe, hopefully this afternoon, we'll be able to put some shine juice on it. All right, so I ended up stopping for just a couple hours to uh, eat lunch, and uh, I've got the hood done. I don't know if you can see a difference between that and this. And I uh, did the the bumper. So I don't know if the camera does it justice or not. And then I just did this side, shined it up. It looks a whole lot better compared to that. Eventually, I'm going to do these tires. That's for another day. I'm going to take those hubs off, scrub them down, and then I'm just going to spray paint them white, bring them back around. Um, but yeah, I'm going, to, I'm going to get over here on this side now since the sun's on this side and see if you can see a difference between up there and what's going on here. So we'll work on that and we'll see how it turns out. Yep. All right, well, it's getting later in the day. It's getting harder to see what's going on. Taylor and Kate's dog Tater over there playing. But it does look a whole lot better than what it did. I'm just slowly kind of working my way around. I got up top, but it still needs a little bit extra on it. This is a it's a lot of work doing this. And just don't have a whole lot of time to do it. But it's Coming along, it's gonna take me a couple days to get it done. Okay, well, while the neighbor is over on the other side of the yard, I thought I'd come over here and show you what's going on here. So, I've taken the SOS pad to all this red marks from where this guy hit the, the guy I previously bought this from, hit a pole at the speedway. And uh, I just wanted to kind of get it before because all those red marks, there were some that were like right in here, you can still see just a little bit there that's all rubbing off so that's going to make a huge difference just doing that to that so i mean i can't do anything about the dent right now without finding a new fender or, or a new panel or a whole new bed i really want to keep these gas caps original and uh i don't really want to do the the, the doors and so trying to find one is it's very difficult especially on a low budget but the rest of the truck's starting to look really good i got the whole cab and uh, the front end all done. And uh, I'm gonna jump off of here because here he comes with the lawnmower. All right, well, there's the end result. 
looks a whole lot better without that red mark on there so you can tell it had it's all dented in and everything still but at least you don't have the red marks from the pole so it's cleaning up pretty good so tomorrow we got to go pick up a washer and dryer and um, so my hope is is to get back out here tomorrow and uh, try to uh, do some more um, polishing on it and get the the other side I've I think I've done about as much as I can do tonight. It's uh, almost eight o'clock and my back is starting to bother me. And uh, I, unfortunately I got to drive this all the way to Lancaster, Ohio. So I got about an hour drive to get there to pick up this washer and dryer over at my father-in-law's place. So that's going to be it for tonight. We'll catch up with this stuff tomorrow and hopefully get the rest of the polishing done and then uh, work on uh, the shine juice. All right. This is day two of getting the uh, truck uh, cleaned up and shined up. And so today we went uh, down to Lancaster, Ohio to pick up a washer and dryer. And uh, for my father-in-law, and we're back and um, got it unloaded. And now I just want to take the time to go ahead and get this thing shined up. So as I mentioned earlier, um, I'm using Shine Juice. And it's sold by uh, Vice Grip Garage, if you haven't noticed somebody i follow on youtube and uh this stuff uh, i've seen him use it and other people use it and it works really well so i'm going to start off in the front and then uh do a coat on one side and then uh we'll compare what it looks like uh with and without the, the shine juice on it okay i started with the front and uh you can definitely can you tell the difference that's that's pretty shiny this stuff really really works well I mean, this is the stuff this was just from cleaning it yesterday that's from putting the shine juice on yeah I'm a believer for sure I can't wait to get the rest of this on and it's really easy to ply I mean you literally all you got to do is this just take a rag of some sort i'm just using paper towel and i just take the the bottle get past the tab and all i do is i just take this top of it and get a hold of here and just boom get some on the rag there and you just start rubbing it in that's it It seems like it's going a long ways. I think I better put the lid back on before I spill this. And I don't want to have to go buy, a, with my track record, I'd have to go buy a whole nother bottle of it. Set that aside. But, yeah. It just easily wipes on. No major application needed, just, just wipe it right on. I think once this rag saturated it'll go even farther and uh, the thing of it is is if it's not enough just put more on not a big deal all right so here's a before picture of the side of the truck i've got the whole hood done now and you can't notice i mean it's, it's definitely got a shine to it it's why it's called shine juice that turned out really nice all right, so I got this whole side done. And uh, I mean, this stuff, this stuff works awesome. I uh, can't wait to get the tires cleaned up and, and get them painted. But I even was wiping down the toolbox. See the difference? Just putting some of that on the toolbox. It's huge. And uh, so it's it shines it up. I mean, it's definitely why we call it calls it shine juice it uh it does a great job and it's very inexpensive too for as much as i've already even used i haven't even used like a quarter of the bottle i mean i'm less than that but here's the side that hasn't been done i don't know if you can tell that it hasn't been uh 
it hasn't been shined up yet compared to the other side. Same thing with the roof. I haven't got that yet. That's next. But I'll jump back on here once I get the whole thing completed and we'll just walk around and get some close-ups of stuff. This bumper turned out really nice. I just need to find a, uh, I need to just find a nice come along that I could use to maybe pull that bumper back out because it ran into something. But I don't know if you can even notice here, there's a difference between the two. This doesn't have the shine on it. That does. Looking good. So I had one of these rags that I used and I threw it over here on the asphalt. Um, if you do use this stuff, just beware. It is flammable. See how it's brown? That's, that's from sitting out in the sun. So stuff smells good though. All right, I got them all done. So now I'm gonna videotape and show you what, uh, how it turned out. All right, well that does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please click and subscribe to get more content like this. We're getting ready to get into the summer months and I have plans to take this to many car shows if I can. I know we have our church car show, which if you haven't seen it, there's a video on the uh, trophies that we made for that. And uh, we got more to make, but um, this is gonna be it. We'll catch you on the next one.